Tim Perino created Landmark Productions 31 years ago as a summer youth theater program and as a home for theatrical classics. In 2002, the company bought the old Covedale Theater on the west side, and since then, attendance and season subscriptions have quadrupled. Landmark is rekindling its original musical adaptation of A Christmas Carol. Let's meet Perino, learn about Landmark's story, and hear some of what you'll hear on stage this holiday season. A freedom from want and the benefits of peace. A life by which each precious child can grow. Can grow. Can grow. Under each, each and every steeple, star and dome. dome. Yes. Because Developing a theater company on the west side when you were born and raised in the west side is nothing short of a miracle and I don't take a lot of credit for it. There was an awful lot of good people who helped make it happen. When we took over this, this building, one of the things we kind of wanted to do was, classic title like A Christmas Carol, but uh, do it in a way that, that might be new and exciting. So obviously a musical version, uh, especially because we're kind of known for doing musicals, was a way to spice it up a great old classic and do it with a lot of verb and fun. I feel like uh, Mr. Dickens is like Shakespeare. You're not going to change his language. It's a bad idea. So he kept as true as possible almost all the time in the dialogue to his language. Then the hard part was taking actual pieces of the book and creating songs. One of the important things when we wrote this musical, was especially I was writing the songs, lyrics, and then Jeremy Helms wrote the music, and we worked very hard on the poetry of the word. There are references all over this play to Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge and, and uh, Percy Shelley and uh, great poets of the English language, uh, and it's often in the song. So when, when we took and write, wrote a song poetically, then we tried to apply music to it that would honor the era and the poetry and yet still have show to it. It doesn't strike you as an anachronistic sound. The music sounds like the era, yet it still has a showbiz feel. I'll journey to different sites and different nights in different ways. I, I don't believe for me it would have been easier to go somewhere else and start a theater company. This is what I did when I was a kid in high school. And I knew there were kids like me who grew up because of their involvement in this kind of endeavor. For me, it was a natural evolution to uh, go back to that and start a company that did what I did in high school. And then as it grew, it made much, much sense to take that, uh, that network that we created with all those great kids over the years and slowly build a professional theater, first at the Showboat, now at the Coveville Performing Arts Center.